it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster video. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Welcome to the video. And today we are discussing the state of Planet Coaster on the console in its current state. Is Planet Coaster dead? Maybe not quite yet, but it is a massive concern. Consider this an open-ended letter to the development team at Frontier themselves. But I'm being joined today by the amazing Jan BK, a fellow Planet Coaster content creator, to discuss our thoughts on the current state of the game. How are you doing, Jan? Bonjour, everyone. Bonjour, Marie. And yeah, um, personally, I'm doing okay, but I was pretty scared this week because of what happened. I think we have to bring people up to speed with what happened, don't you think? Of course, in light of recent developments with the workshop being down for three days, it was a major concern for the entire community and just to give a little bit of context because of course people don't log on every day and they may not even be aware of what it is that we are talking about right now Jan so the workshop on the PlayStation went down for three days with no word from Frontier and certainly from mine and Jan's point of view we were like is that it is the game done have Frontier pulled the plug on it and what did you think Jan I thought I was going to be out of a secondary job, technically, because that's something that brings so much joy to me and to everyone in the community, in the PlayStation community, because we, we were the ones affected. And yeah, that was a, a really, really scary thought, to say the least. Because, of course, if you're on the PC, they use the Steam Workshop, don't they? So Frontier themselves mm -hmm. don't really have any influence on that. They upload their creations to the Steam Workshop, which will always be there. But on the console, we actually rely on Frontier themselves, don't we, to keep them servers running, with it being the Frontier Workshop. And the thought that they could just one day turn around and pull the plug on the game, and given the fact that this is a quintessential a single-player game, but it's very community driven, isn't it? You take that workshop away from us, and despite the fact that it's a single player game, that single handedly kills the game. Because it's all about the community, isn't it? And sharing our love of the game and sharing our creations. People create parks for contests, people create parks to be spotlighted, people create parks to be seen, don't they? That's. That's what people use this game for. They want to share their love of the game, share their art, share their vision. And without the workshop, that's it. Game over. Yeah, no, no more of that. And even beyond the single player sharing aspect of the workshop, I know that myself included and a lot of people I think about uh, Rats, Spit and Kep or uh, Birdie and Flooded Tombs, they've done uh, co-op co parks so to speak and if the workshop isn't working that would have meant that those projects would have been terminated and that is a scary thought of course for birdie and flooded tombs that didn't that issue that we had this week didn't affect them but what if it did yeah it's I, it's something i hadn't even considered the the people who do collab parks, I hadn't even actually considered that aspect of it. So that again, that's just something else raised as well. And this is just a problem that has plagued the console since its launch, hasn't it? When the game originally launched, the workshop, whilst it was functional, the front page was broken for about 18 months, wasn't it? It was the same creations. Do you remember the Star Wars Death Star? that was on the front yes. page for about 18 months. And they, eventually they fixed it. It took about 18 months, but they fixed it. And then the top creations for that week were actually showing. But then in summer this year, it then broke again. And now mm -hmm. every single creation is getting five stars. People have actually mentioned within the community itself that they feel a lack of incentive to put parks on the workshop because they know it's just going to get lost. The front page isn't the best creations anymore, is it? Because everything is getting five stars. So we are having just the most random things ever appear on the front page. And some parks, which are absolutely incredible, are just getting lost in the workshop and never being seen, which is such a shame for how many hours and months sometimes people put into these parks. Yes, absolutely. And obviously people have turned to us to actually give 
the put the spotlight on their park. Essentially, that's what we do, and that that's a solution. But that shouldn't be our solution to give to the community. The workshop should be working. This is a feature in the game, and the fact that the rating doesn't work, we cannot find as a player something that is worth looking at. I mean, I have it, I have l l the front page right before my eyes right now, and there's literally a creation with a toilet, so <laughs> do I want to see that on my front page? No, I don't. I want to see NH99, I want to see Albris, I want to see Industrioplex, I want to, well, I'm talking about the, the, the PlayStation creators right there, but I want to see Flooded Tombs, I want to see Birdie as well. Uh, I, I really want the excellence of the community that we know and love to be featured there. And it just hasn't been the case for the past six months or so. I mean, I'm going to go completely off script here. We got, we got stuff written down. We were following a script, but I'm going off script. It's rant time. I just feel that the console version was dropped by Frontier as a cash grab. And since its launch, we have been treated with no respect whatsoever, no support, and I just find it a little bit of a joke. I feel like they put it out there and then completely forgot about us. We have no patches, we get no support, we get no communication. You only have to look at Instagram and Twitter or X now to look at how they view us they'll put up a console thursday and they want to recognize the console community and they'll put up the most random things ever and all them people that you just mentioned that create these masterpieces that are rivaling the pc guys and they never get shown that this is a good example they showed a picture of the city biome for a console Thursday and said, look what was created on the console. It was their biome. They didn't even recognize the biome that they created and then claimed it was a console Thursday park. I just think that shows the lack of respect that they have for the console players. And it just scares me, Jan. It scares me because I want Planet Zoo as much as anybody. I want Planet Coaster 2 as much as anybody. But are we going to get the same level of treatment? with the console ports of them games. Are we going to be sat here in a couple of years with these new games saying, where's our support? Where Frontier gone? I, I surely hope that that's not the case because we deserve respect. And to say that the PC players have respect is somewhat of uh, an overstatement in, in my opinion. When you look at those accounts that you've mentioned on, on X, on Twitter or um, or on Instagram, they are featured, yes, but they have slightly the same problem as we do, especially the Planet Coaster uh, social media's accounts are being ran by a bot and everything is being generated and posted automatically and that is quite concerning. I know there are people um, do doing those posts and scheduling them, but the, the, the fact that this issue means that everything is on autopilot, that is very scary because that means the game is dead and the only way to um, have the community grow, so to speak, is in the, the content creator's name, in, in Moomin's hand, in, in uh, Nerchacho's hand, in your hands, in my hands, in, in Corvus's hands. And to think that the creators of the game are not caring about them and we have to become a self-sustaining ecosystem is quite a joke, yes, definitely. A, the, a, a joke is definitely the, the right word and you use the right word for that, Maddie. Yeah, I, I just want more from Frontier. I don't think I'm being unreasonable in asking for more from them. I think maybe just a little bit more of a communication between Frontier and the community. I just feel like, as a community as a whole, I say about the console, but I, th I think it's very right in you saying that the PC do also get ignored as well. I just want Frontier to be better. 
don't become EA. Don't become Blizzard. Oh, yeah. Don't become these big AAA gaming companies. You are better than that. You've got a better gaming community than that. Treat us with the respect that we want to give you in return. Actually talk to us. Communicate with us. Just get a social media presence. Actually get a PR person that will actually communicate with us and we will respond in kind. I think that's what this video boils down to. I want better from Frontier. Yeah, because the game is very much not dead. We've seen it over the, the past few months. We almost thought it was dead and then it got brought back to life with all of these contests that you've been doing with uh, Cloud's presence, with Corvus's presence, with Moomin's Yours. presence, and yeah, I, I didn't want to uh, toot my own horn, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're decent people, and we... Uh, I, I know it's a little bit uh, e egotistic to, to, to say that, but we are the future of the community, and it's time that Frontier uh, acknowledges this fact, this very true fact that we are the future of Planet Coaster, and they are just ignoring us that that's that's literally what they're doing i absolutely love this game as do many many other people the community is proof of that and i just want it to be the best it can be and just allow us to continue moving forward without these issues plaguing us without these concerns of the workshop being taken away from us one day I just want a little bit better, and I don't think that's too much to ask. Yeah, absolutely, and on a more personal note, this game, finding this game and playing it, and then finding the community that's behind it, it literally changed my life, and I definitely care a lot about the community, most of, more, more the community than the game, really. And as long as we keep us alive, well, you know where you, you can find us, Frontier. Yeah, our doors are always open. I mean, what do you all think? As a console player yourselves, what are your thoughts on what we've discussed? Is there things that you would like to see to help improve the game? You're going to have to let me know down below in the comments. Thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. I'm going to be back very soon for another Planet Coaster Spotlight. I will see you all then. Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I will see you all very, very soon. Say goodbye, Jan. A bientôt, everyone. Bye.